Hey everyone, it's Monica with Kids Lids. So, I wanted to um, share with you guys for my Fresh Off the Hook Sunday today how much fun I had yesterday yarn bombing my neighborhood. Oh my gosh, we, um, Kevin was working, so I went down, I walked down to the beaches. Actually, no, sorry, I walked down the street, took the streetcar into the beaches and did some shopping and then kind of like along the way put flowers and um so i showed some of the flowers that i made yesterday and since i had so much fun i started some more so this one is for um this is for i think for my yarn bombing this one is for linda yay linda you're getting a flower i'll get travis to bring it into work and this one is for christina because she commented that she liked the yellow and brown one and i had already put it down on queen street somewhere um so she's gonna get a new one so um yeah I will put a link down below for the album on my Facebook page, um, or actually I'll just put the my personal one, but it was so fun, it was really funny, because people were kind of looking at me like, what are you doing? And I tied them in bows, just so that people could take them off if they wanted them, and the one that's down the street is still there, um, that's the only one that's really close enough that we can, you know, instead of going for a long walk to see it, but uh, I figured that that's going to be my new thing now, so when I go for my daily walks, as part of my weight loss journey, what I'm going to do is put flowers everywhere. So I'll bring my camera with me every day and I'm actually going to have um, pictures of each flower that I put in my neighborhood. So yeah, and also now that I have more time, yesterday a lot of them were only one color except that, the yellow and brown one. So I'm going to try and do them like different colors and different kinds. This is a, I don't know what that is, but anyway, I just made it, made up the pattern today. So I kind of like that actually, it's really cute. A siren. That's what happens when you live on Kingston Road. Sorry. Um, yeah, so, um, and I wanted to show you, this is the first hat that I bought that totally made me want to crochet. And I bought this like three years ago at Toronto Pride. Dun, dun, dun. At this little um, kiosk or whatever you call them down there, vendor. And I believe I paid $30 for it. And you know what? Oh, it was so worth it. Man, I've washed this thing like a million times. And all I do to shape it back, after, when it's drying, I put it on top of a baseball cap. And then it keeps its shape, right? And it doesn't shrink or anything. So I think this is made with embroidery thread, though. I don't want to go too close so that you can see, but I think it's made with embroidery thread. So there you go. So I'm going to have to try that because we have tons of it. Um. And what else did I want to share with you? Oh yeah, so I'm just still, see, just making the centers of the flowers. And I put a long string from the center of the flower and then that way I can tie it to a pole or a fence or something like that. So I keep making banana bread to take over to the Urban Core guys over at Corpus Christi and then something comes up so I'm not able to go over there. So I'm going to be making another loaf tomorrow. This is loaf number three. Technically, wait, is it loaf number three? Yeah, I think it's loaf number three. The first loaf, I took out 15 minutes early, as you guys know, and it went, it sank. It was like banana brick. It wasn't banana bread. The second one, which we're still eating, by the way, was so good, but I was busy, so I couldn't go over there. So I have to make another one tomorrow, go buy more bananas and make them a banana bread, and I'm going to um, probably go, maybe, depending on how many I make tomorrow, and tie a bunch of them to the fence there. I think that would be really cute for the Urban Core guys to come in and it would be like kind of decorated, like a little garden around there because everything is just destroyed, right? And that's kind of a lot to look at. So how cute would it be as they're coming in to have like flowers along the fence that they have to open to drive in? I think that's a cute idea. I don't know, that might be crazy, but that's okay. Um, What else can I share with you? I think that's it for today. Um. I had a wonderful day, and again, I don't know why my camera won't upload to Facebook or to YouTube. For some reason, it just doesn't do it anymore. I don't know if it's because I've switched over to Firefox as my um, browser. So I'm making homemade egg rolls today, and I would have loved to film it for you guys. So there's nothing I can do about that, but we'll do the smell -o vision thing tomorrow. Anyway. <laughs> So, uh, let me see, who do I want to do a shout out to today? 
I want to do a shout out to Dee's Crochet Creations. Yes, I haven't done a single one to her by herself, except as part of the actual group. So I want to say hey to Dee because she's awesome and her daughter Jay is so, so cute. So if you haven't become a fan of hers on Facebook, you can check her out at Dee's Crochet Creations. She also does videos on here as part of our Fresh Off the Hook. So her name will be down there. And um, she has patterns for sale and obviously crochet items for sale. She's so talented. She has tutorials up now that she does. Um, so she has a child's shrug that she's done. And obviously, if you like to make hats, then you can make the shrug to match. How cute would that be? And maybe a little purse or little booties or something. We go a little crazy when we start to crochet because we know that it looks so adorable on children when you have matching things. On an adult, it looks kind of odd. But <laughs> unless you do like hat purse or hat necklace or maybe necklace purse or you know what I mean. You don't want to go over overboard. Like, of course, scarf hat mix looks great. But um, anyway, and here I go rambling again. So I better let you go because I have things to do. And I just want to say, I love you guys, as always. You guys totally rock. I'm going to be changing my little background thing here. I don't know if you guys actually pay attention to the background. But on my little um, wall unit there, I'm going to be using that to store all of my wool and my fabric. So there's going to be a little stash of fabric there. And you can see what I'm working on every day as I go along. And then maybe I'll have Dorothy and one of her siblings there with a hat on. And then that way it's in the background and... Um, I don't know if you see it and you want to give me a shout out that you'd like it that would be great and any ideas that you guys have um, as to what I can make I'm gonna be working on the let me try and say this again a rigurumi arigurumi whatever it's called animals um, you did I you saw that I did the little pig and um, I want to do a panda bear I love panda bears and I'd like to make Marina an orca that would be amazing. She's totally in love with killer whales. Um, so I think that's it for today. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right. <laughs> Have a wonderful day. Happy Sunday and happy crocheting. Share your smile. Love you guys. Bye.